I'd like to tell you about a situation in which uh, a nursing home resident had uh, a toenail, an ingrown toenail cleaned out uh, and the nursing staff just failed to monitor it after that and it led to an amputation of her leg above the knee. My name is Justin Varghese, I'm an attorney here at Parker Wakeman and I wanted to talk with you a little bit uh, about a, a recent trial that I handled that was a situation exactly like the one I just described. Basically what occurred was uh, it was a diabetic resident and the foot care of a diabetic is particularly important that the staff be very diligent and vigilant in the way that they do that. So there's a diabetic resident who has an ingrown toenail. Uh, the podiatrist comes and does what's called a debridement. It's a, it's a way of cutting and cleaning that ingrown toenail. But when someone has diabetes, it needs to be monitored very, very closely. And the records reflected that that just wasn't happening. Um, antibiotics weren't given in a timely way. The nurses just weren't paying attention to what was happening with the toe. Sure enough, it got infected and it went from bad to worse. And within a couple months, the patient required an amputation of her leg from above the knee. It's a horrible situation and unfortunately eventually led to the, her untimely death at a uh, relatively young age. And we were able to step in and uh, take a look at the records and at trial we were able to hold the nursing home accountable for what happened and uh, got a very good result for uh, the bereaved family. So uh, if, if uh, you have a loved one that's at a nursing home and you've had any type of experience where you've seen something improper happen with respect to the care of their feet or any other part of their body, I want you to pick up the phone and give me a call. I handle cases like this every day and I would love for the opportunity to be able to talk with you and get some information and see if there's anything we can do for you. My name is Justin Varghese from Parker Wakeman and I thank you for your time today.